full scale test has been carried out on the fiber wrap pad. So this was the, then I have told you that the heat, one of the limitation towards this uh, technology is a heat. Suppose I, I put this fiber wrap, always when, when you do any research, economics is back to back. This structure when I have retrofitted, people ask me, all government officers were there. Almost 300 consultants were there. Gopal, what is the cost? If another guideline is there, if your cost is more than 30% of the new construction, then demolish the structure. We were there at the cost of 19 to 20% of the original construction. And time duration to restore this structure was 11 days. 11 days. We have used the micro concrete for repair and then fiber wrapping. So micro concrete taken three, four days for the getting the full strength and then the fiber wrapping. Okay. So 11 days we have restored the complete structure and with the cost of 19 to 20%. This is the project where I have developed a material. When I was asking a material from all the renowned construction chemical people, they were all running behind. Gopal, if the test fails, then we will be nowhere. So I was starting my career, so I thought, let it be. I will, somewhere I will be there. So this was one of the live demonstration which has been carried out. In fire or any heat, how to protect? There are materials are there, but if fiber wrap is costing 400 rupees per square feet, okay, to protect that fiber wrap, if I put another 300 rupees per square feet, nobody will accept this technology. It will be very costly and it will go in a, like a diamond, diamond part, not in a silver and gold class. How to make it economical for a common man? So what we have done, as, a, as if you see how, how we protect the steel structures, we do a sand blasting and on that we put a vermiculite layer same thing on fiber wrap we have done a, a sand sprinkle, cloth sand we have sprinkled and then we have gone for a vermiculite. Full PhD we have carried out in IIT Bombay with the research that how we can make a, a economical burning so that we can go up to a two hours or three hours fire escape. As per code in an infrastructure you need maximum 180 minutes. Okay. So we have to make at least the system for 180 minutes on all the airports need to be fire escape for 180 minutes. So that we have checked and then we found that if you put a 25 mm or 50 mm vermiculite layer all around which is not very expensive and it is readily available. Okay, We can make a heat resistance for 80 minutes to 220 minutes Okay, depending upon how much thickness you have created. So this was the research background and the very common question people now ask, durability. It's, it's a very acceptable question how durable this system is. It will last for 5 year, 10 year, 20 year, 30 year. So that we have checked as per the aging test. Any material, if any new material you want to test it, you have to do the aging test. 10 years back, this is the physical phenomena we have done. We have casted a girder. Okay, A girder has been given a crack, RCC girder. We have pre-stressed the girder. Okay, with the carbon laminates. Have you seen the carbon laminates? It has been pre-stressed because already the girder was deflected. And when it is deflected, any strengthening you do, it will further deflect and start taking load. So we have to do some pre-stressing. So we have used this carbon laminates. You can see this ro roll of carbon laminates. We have pre-stressed the girder and then again tested. In a beam, we have improved the capacity from 70 to 90 percent on above the original capacity. This is how we have almost close to 120 beams and close to joints, 70 joints we have tested in IIT Bombay. I am very sorry to say in today's civil engineering, the students like more towards the modeling part and the structure, this is also very important. I, in fact, for all my experimental part, I have to do the analysis and modeling part. Otherwise, uh, experiment doesn't count. You have to give a, a equation. You have to develop, with, come up with the equation, how, how we have arrived, how the conclusions are there. But civil engineering, after all, when you go with the structures. Today, I'm a contractor because I have feel the material, I have tested this material, and I have learned the subject on ground. That's why it is very easy to convince to the client and to the customer. If I have not filled the material, okay, it is very difficult to do the same. So this is how we have carried out the aging test. What we have done, 
is a natural weathering and hot water bath. At 60 degrees Celsius, we have kept in 3, 6, 12 and 24 months. Okay. And accelerate the material for natural weathering and this free straw weathering. And when we have compared, we found that if carbon material has been used, if carbon is a material which has been used, it can go up to 37 to 40 years. It's not that after 40 years something goes bad. We have tested up to 37 years as per the extrapolation. Okay. So this was the case and how we have, we have also done some microscopic analysis for the XRD part so that we can check whether the some new material has been increased or not, whether the existing material from the beginning was there or not. So this we have checked. Then thoroughly after doing a thorough investigation, in the morning I think the director was telling that we take a foreign material. Yes, this is a first application has been done in 1962 by Trento Filo in one of the bridge. The main, the person who has initiated the civil engineering with FRP and is, is uh, Professor Trentofilo, okay, who has given this material to the, from aerospace to the civil engineering. After doing a lot of tests in India, then we have started in doing a projects. I will, now I will go to the projects. Believe me, when I have started my career as a entrepreneur, not having more than 7,000 rupees okay, in the pocket of the stipend of last month. Because that time the stipend was 9,000 rupees. Okay. So you don't require money to become an entrepreneur. First myth is there, which I am clearing, you don't require money. Yes, I was confident that this material can go a long way. Lot of tests we have carried out. Only thing is that you have to convince. And like in the morning, somebody told that, cement very good very good very good at the end it comes yes it is very good you have to keep on pampering or you have to keep on telling to the client yes it is workable 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 and one day it will the clients which used to hold me for two hours waiting the railway clients earlier when in 2008 when i used to take this material they used to i used to wait for two to three hours outside their chamber or rajwad i will say okay they never call inside now they invite me to solve their problems. So it takes time. You should have a patience. You should believe in your technology and you should have a patience. So research, like after 10 years, it will be like business for all. So this is how we have done a flexural and shear enhancement. Something goes bad with this. Battery is running low. Shall I put down? Yeah, let me. So, let me tell you. From PSD and when you go to the client, the first limitation is client. So with that mentality, no one accept the, the PhD guy as an entrepreneur. That is a myth which industry has. But let me show you the projects. This is how we have done a confinement of the projects. I will rush a little fast now. In the slab strengthening, whenever the slab requires a capacity enhancement from 400 kg per meter square to 800 or 1200, we have gone up to 1300 kg per meter square from 500. We use this carbon laminate and in that we use pristress carbon laminates. This was my part of PhD. From that rolling machine, we have developed a handy machine on the side. And in each laminate, we give a pristress of 10 ton. And by doing this, we got finally the railway client. Okay. First project in 2008, neither LNT was having option, nor Mial was having option to go with any other technology like this. This was the Mumbai airport runway, main runway bridge. This black color, you can see this. This is a Mithi river. From here to here, there is a bridge. 
This project after retrofitting 10 years has been successfully completed. Now we can say that our project has been passed a decade. Forget about one year, two years. Okay. This was my first project where I, I become a contractor. Okay. I will tell you the exact with the organizer I will excuse for a few minutes more. But the student should get encouraged. Like this was the condition of the bridge below. All things were spalling down. They have carried out the jacketing. 10 years before. This is almost 50 year old structure. They have carried out jacketing. All jacketing were falling down. Any structure which is overhang, when you put additional mass, with the time it will debond. So never do a retrofitting with the high mass material in a overhang. In the column, jacketing is fantastic. But never do for the slab and beam. Because it will going to delaminate or it will going to debond after a few years. What we have done? This was the case. We have done a first micro-concreting and then we have used fiber wrapping first, first time in any infrastructure in 2008. In 30 days, 9 crore jobs need to be done. In 30 days. And when I was standing with DKS, now he is a board of director in LNT, DK Sen. Okay? He told, he was next to me, Gopal, your design is good. Who will execute? I told, sir, we have to find some contractor. So he told, you look like a contractor to me. You can do this job. I can give you two. Well, I said, I'm, I'm just a consultant and uh, nine crore job in 30 days. What do you want? Well, I said, money. Well, at least you are clear that what do you want? So he supported that project and really believe me, in 30 days, 18,000 square meter of fiber wrapping. You can see this, all machine fiber wrapping we have done because we, we were getting a block on Mumbai airport, we, you, you get a block of half an hour, one hour. Okay, and that also create a big chaos in the industry. Like one hour block means all fall flight were diverted, everything. So getting a block was the most difficult part. Okay, and then we have carried out in day and night, close to 600 people were working. And in 30 days we have done 18,000 square meter of fiber wrap with the machines, not with the manpower. And Mithi River is not a river, it is a nala. All the, comp all the Mumbai waste, waste and sludge, everything goes through this. So my first project was the Nala project. When I was in Switzerland with my first job, there also my first assignment the Swiss people has given was a Nala. So my luck was in the Nala only. But only thing is that their Nala was clean and our Nala was not bearable. So this was one of the worst site and really for this project we got a Vishwakarma award from the Ministry of uh, uh, Road Transport and Highway Authority. This is how we have, when we have hand over the first phase, they have told to monitor. It is very important that when you do such a critical structure, we have to monitor the structure. Otherwise, the all contractor, what's the difference between me and other contractors? We should prove to the client that this much had deflection was before and after. And now this was a natural frequency before and after. So that we can prove to the next client also that we have monitored. So this is, we have value addition we have done. We have monitored the complete structure for eight years. Now last year we have dismantled all the things because they were not getting any data. Okay, means no deflection, nothing. Earlier the cracks were there and we have put the sensors all around and every aircraft with the camera and with monitoring system, we have NI system we have installed. And then second phase also we got in 2000. First phase we have done a retrofitting here. And second phase was here. This was literally a suicide. If I could have failed in 2012, I could have been behind the bar, okay? And by all my license and everything I could have been taken away. What was the challenge? Bottom there is a slab and top there is a slab on the runway, on the taxiway. We have to strengthen the girder in between. Okay, and Mithi River, of course, all, all, all dirty things were there all around. We have to cut the slab. Okay, we have to go inside. And this is one meter by one meter and 80 meter long. Like that, there are 50 bays were there. And all these bay we have to strengthen with safety. One meter means this is a height. You cannot stand. Okay, so in this environment, we have to work. Arranging a labor. Then we have, actually when I was in uh, Switzerland, that project, the, the, uh, 
this fresh air pumping unit we have installed. Same person we have uh, assigned in the in Mithi River part so that if, if any dust comes, the air pressure was such that the dust doesn't retain, it flows with the, so nothing has been given to the, and all chemicals sh should not smell. And this is a portable oxygen cylinder. It is, a weight is close to 250 grams. And it can go up to one and a half hours. So such things we have to do for the safety of the, the people. Okay. And we have used this carbon laminates for flexural enhancement and fiber wrap we have used for the shear enhancement. And we have improved shear enhancement for 57% and flexural enhancement for 88%. Okay. So these are the laminates we have used. Okay. And these are the opening chambers were there. For safety of, if one of the labor collapse, it should not be turned from one bay to another bay. He should be immediately taken and to the hospital within seven minutes. So that much of safety arrangements has been made so that we should not land up with any accident or casualty. So this was one of the, like this again, in 37 days we have to complete this project. So this was a time bounded. Yeah, this was like one of the, like nobody should take a risk uh, for taking such project. I was lucky that I was having a good contact with the international forum and where I have pulled the exhaust guy and then I pulled the, here we have done a monitoring of labor by means of their heartbe heartbeats. We have put on the ID, the sensors were installed. In IID days, in a PEF or in Mudai when you go, there are almost close to 700 volunteers are there. Okay, how to monitor which volunteer is rooming where? So they put ID 